This is my forecast for when you will see your first snowfall for the winter of 2024 to 2025. I might be a little bit late with this one, but better late than never. Some of the high elevations of the West have seen their first snowfall already, and the first snowfall is approaching rapidly for many more. Most people wonder how much snowfall they will get in a winter, but not as many people question how early they will receive snow. While this topic is not as important as some of the other topics I have covered, it is always good to know. This graphic shows the average first snowfall for locations across the United States. Though there are many other maps, some more and some less detailed, I particularly this one because it is not too detailed but not too simple. As you would expect, the general trend is that the average is earlier the further north you go. Some places see it as early as October, while others don't see it at all or rarely see snowfall in a given year. Some places have already seen unexpected early snowfall. The most unexpected early snowfall has occurred in the mountains of California, which normally don't see their first snowfall until December. This does not mean that everyone will see snowfall earlier than average, but it could be a slight sign of a developing cold and stormy trend early in the season, especially for places out west. So what factors could affect our first snowfalls this year? Generally, the fall temperature trends for October through December do not support the idea of an earlier first snowfall for many, as the cold air stays mostly confined to the north-central states. Other areas, especially the southern half of the country, are likely in for a warmer fall. However, the precipitation trends are much more promising. The southeast and south-central states are the only states expected to be significantly drier than average, while the rest of the country is expected to see average or above-average precipitation. Areas where the colder temperatures and above-average precipitation overlap, like the north-central states and maybe the northeast, have a better chance to see their first snowfall around average or earlier than average because of this combination. Now that we have discussed the possible factors influencing the forecast, it is time to bring out the forecast map. This first section is where we expect the first snowfall of this season to be one to two weeks early. This is because of the around average to colder than average temperatures coupled with the above average precipitation chances. Additionally, lake effect snowfall will probably get going early this year, which is why these lake effect prone areas are included in this section. This next section is where we expect the first snowfall of the season to be two to three or more weeks earlier than normal. This covers the most northern areas of our previous section and is where conditions will be most favorable this fall to see snowfall. This area should be prepared to see their first snowfall relatively soon, I would say within the next few weeks. Moving away from early snowfall, this section is where we expect the first snowfall of the season to be one to two weeks later than normal. The warm temperatures and drier weather caused by the La Nina pattern will most likely delay snowfall for these areas, including the higher elevations. Some of you might be saying, how can areas that don't even see snowfall be included in this? This map is just based off the probabilities based on the expected conditions. The areas don't see snowfall obviously won't see snow. This next section is where we expect the first snowfall of the season to be two to three weeks later than normal. This is where even warmer and drier weather will further delay snowfall, which will likely start to eat away at your yearly snowfall totals because of how delayed it is. This is not good news for the numerous ski resorts across the West Coast and Southwest. Washington State is still in the mix, as this area could see an earlier or later first snow. For now, we expect snow to be a little bit later, but only time will tell. This final section is where we expect the first snowfall of the season to be three to four or more weeks later than normal. The warmest and driest conditions of the fall will be prevalent here. This is very big, as we could approach a month or maybe even more than a month of a delay on snowfall. Though there aren't too many ski resorts this far south, the ones that exist in the high elevations will not be happy. This will greatly cut into your yearly snowfall totals. Unfortunately, this pattern does not seem like it will go away as we approach true winter time. It looks like these areas will remain warmer and drier than normal for most, if not all of winter. Any areas in between this are expected to see around an average first snowfall, as there is not enough factors to confidently predict an earlier or later timestamp. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more winter updates.